biggest learning that I've taken so far in terms of how to address any of the diversity issues is primarily around uh, creating a working environment which is going to be conducive to our employees and it's about flexible working. Uh, so if we want to create sort of you know, an environment which will allow for more women to engage in the workforce at all levels then we've got to change that traditional 9 to 5 approach or 8 to 6 p.m. approach and just be more flexible in that. may have um, a recognition that you can't attract talent. So one organization was saying that they were having difficulty recruiting engineers from their traditional pool, which was men. And so what they did is, they said, how do we change people's attitudes towards recruiting women? How do we then encourage other women to apply so that they get the confidence and to know that they can apply for those roles? And then how do we support and retain those women? And it's job in work in progress and not job done. Only with man and female you will raise your turnover because we think it's an economical thing. We have to admit we don't do it because we think we are good believers and we think we have to do it for the society, but we do it because we see there's an economical point. I'm glad that there are other people uh, to have the same worries uh, as uh, we have and uh, I think that we can manage uh, this issue if we, if we are uh, a lot of worries together. Mm -hmm.